All right, guys, here are some uh, videos on the skull here to hopefully help you with skull bones. We're going to start looking at just the skull as a whole. The best way to start learning these bones is to use a colored skull so you can actually see where the individual bones are meeting up, where the suture lines are, and how everything kind of works together, and then we'll move on to doing bones individually. So if we look here, we'll just name the bones and then we'll go over more specifics in a minute. This is the frontal bone, nasal, right here where your nose is. If somebody says they broke their nose, this is the bone they're talking about. This purple bone here is the maxilla. It's actually in two pieces, so you can see that there's a little fusion line there. This is the mandible, the lower jaw. This is the cheekbone. It's called the zygomatic bone. Turn it around to the side. We can see the parietal bone here. You have one here, one on the other side. And this bone is temporal. This red piece of bone that you can see here is part of the sphenoid bone. Again, here's your zygomatic. And then here is your occipital bone. Now we have some smaller bones inside this orbit. This one is the lacrimal bone, this little orange one. And I don't know if it shows up here, but if we look in the orbit, we can see some of the deeper bones like the ethmoid bone right here on the side. It's in yellow. And then this little kind of orangish colored one here is the palatine bone. Again, this red one here is another view of the sphenoid bone. If we look inside the nasal cavity, we can see this lower bone here, this little sharp skinny one, is the vomer. We can see this kind of lump on the side here. Low down is the inferior nasal concha, separate bone all by itself. And this yellow bone up here is the ethmoid bone again. Okay, now we'll look at these bones on another skull. Actually, I take that back. We're going to do the sutures. The sutures is where two of these bones, or more, come together and form a joint. Sutures are immovable joint. They're fused in the adult. Uh, originally, when you're born, you do not have a lot of sutures. Your bones are kind of separated. And as you grow, your brain expands and your head gets bigger and your bones in your skull grow and eventually they will all form sutures and you'll have a nice continuous thick layer of bone surrounding your brain to, for protection. So we'll look at the fontanelles which are this, those little soft spots in the fetal skeleton and the baby skull and we'll look at sutures here on the adult. So the first ones that you will notice is this one between the two parietal bones, the left and right parietal bone this is called the sagittal suture. It cuts the skull in the sagittal plane, sagittal suture. This one here forms a crown around the head. It's called coronal, coronal suture. Here between the parietal bones and the occipital bone is this little V-shaped suture called the lambdoidal suture. The Greek letter lambda in the alphabet, Greek alphabet, looks like an upside down Y. So you can see this upside down Y, so that's why this is the lambdoidal suture. This spot right here is actually called the lambda. Sagittal suture, lambdoidal suture. On the side here between the parietal bone and the temporal bone, on the squamous part of the temporal bone, which is this flat part here, you have this squamosal suture. Between the temporal bone and the occipital bone, you have the occipitomastoid suture. This bump is called the mastoid process. This is the occipital bone, so occipitomastoid suture goes between those two. Between the frontal bone and the nasal bones, you have the frontonasal suture. Between the two bones of the maxilla, 
you have the intermaxillary suture, which is actually this, and the continuation of that suture underneath right here. Okay, so it kind of goes all the way here. So here's maxilla here on either side, intermaxillary suture. This bone right here attached to the maxilla is your palatine bone. Okay, your hard palate is at the top of your mouth, right? The roof of your mouth. It's made up of two bones, maxilla and palatine bone. In between the two palatine bones, you have another suture called the median palatine suture. Median palatine, intermaxillary. They're continuous with each other. Now, you also have one other suture, but you can only see it in the fetal skull, and we'll do that when we do the fetus in a second. Now here's another skull. I like this one because everything is marked well. It's not in color, but it's got dark lines, so you can actually see all the sutures really well and make out all the individual bones. So this is a good one to practice on as well until you move to the plain overall white ones. So here's the frontal bone, here's the nasal bones, one, two, maxilla, zygomatic bones, mandible, bomer is this one down here, this is ethmoid, inferior nasal concha, it's the lowest bump. In the orbit you can see sphenoid back here frontal, zygomatic, lacrimal, ethmoid, and you'd even have palatine, but on this bone you can't really see it. On the side we can see frontal, we can see the sphenoid bone, the temporal bone, parietal bone, the occipital bone down here. If we look underneath, you can see the mandible obviously here. This is all occipital bone. I don't know what, how well this is showing up actually. This is actually uh, vomer from the back, you can see here. And these are your concha, so this would be inferior down here at the bottom. This structure right here is part of the sphenoid bone. This is all occipital bone here. You can see the palatine bone, the maxilla. For sutures on this guy, you've got sagittal, coronal. Here's your occipital bone, so this is part of your lambdoidal here. And then on this side, occipitomastoid, squamosal, frontonasal, intermaxillary, and again under here, intermaxillary median palatine. Okay, now we'll look at the fetal skull before we get into the details here. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the fetal skull here. Most of these structures are the same. You should be able to identify the same bones, frontal, parietal, nasal, maxilla, ethmoid, lacrimal, zygomatic, sphenoid, temporal, occipital. You can even see palatine here. There's no mandible on this one. We have similar sutures, so this would be sagittal suture. You'd have coronal. You have squamosal, occipitomastoid, lambdoidal. The difference is that, sorry, you have these soft spots or fontanelles, which is basically where these bones are coming together to form suture lines. These fontanelles allow 
expansion room for these bones as the brain grows and also allows the skull to become compressed when the baby exits the birth canal. So this fontanelle here in the back is called posterior fontanelle. This one in the front is called anterior fontanelle. There's an extra suture line on the fetal skull that divides the frontal bone. This is called the frontal suture. So this one is coronal, this one is frontal. On the sides we have two fontanelles, one here between the parietal, sphenoid, temporal, and frontal. That's called anterior lateral fontanelle or sphenoidal fontanelle. And here in the back we have a fontanelle between the occipital bone, the temporal bone, and the parietal bone. And this is called the posterior lateral fontanelle. So anterior lateral, posterior lateral, anterior and posterior. Just a note, you can also call this fontanelle the mastoid fontanelle, you can call this one the sphenoid fontanelle, you could call this one the frontal, and you can call this one the occipital. So whichever naming you prefer, it doesn't matter. Now we'll go into some details.